Alrighty, guys, what is good? Uh, welcome back to another Monday evening, guys. It is Micro Mondays in the house. Shout out what you guys are up to today. Welcome, welcome. As always, it's RC Steve 710. And much appreciated for you guys tuning in tonight. Got a few cool stuff to talk about. Some new uh, products, of course. Uh, weekend recaps. And let's see what else. We got a few other stuff down the road. I'll definitely remember along the way. But what is good, guys? Shout out what you guys were up to this weekend. Any micro festivities or events you guys attended to or even just stayed home wrenching away, getting paint jobs done? Let me know. That being said, I'm going to send it. McGirt. Northwest Chassis Works in the house. What is up, brother? She's SoCal Crawler, Collie Man. Jay-Z. X Stouffer. Mini Line. What's good, guys? RC the Addict in the house. Sheesh. Anniversary. There we go. There's Mark. What's good, brother? Yo. On. Let me know if you can hear me. What you been up to, brother? Oh man. Not much, dude. It was nice all week and then of course the weekend was nasty. Oh. oh as far as the weather. So we're getting close. It's supposed to be cooler. All week and then again hot on the weekend, so I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it'll be cool Saturday morning to get out. Got that yeah, itch for the will get some problem, man. man. Dude, I'm fucking going nuts over here. Need to get out. Huh? Yeah. Like it's it's fun to crawl indoors and shit, but come on now. Real rocks. Out talking shit with the homies. Having a good time. Right. I feel that's it. what's lit up. I was you know, lucky I just enough realized, to get out. What's up? Forgot about this stuff, Yasso. Ooh. I never did anything. Ooh. What the? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to do something about it. Right, mini line? This shit's ridiculous, bro. The weather here is fucking stupid this year. Oh, man. I need to finish my FJ. Right now. Yeah. Now it's getting it's all good. gloomy over here. You get into those nice fall nights where it's overcast and cool and hoodie weather. All right. SoCal. I miss that shit, dude. <laughs> I miss Colorado weather, too. Sheesh. Over there in the Pacific Northwest, 75 degrees. There you go. That sounds absolutely perfect, like you said. I'm down. All right. Yo, J JZX, that's like my OG, that's my, literally my first micro crawler. That's a low C MCRC on a leaf conversion from, a, what was that brand called? Uh, crawler X. Damn. I think Show us some leaf that brings real now. quick. <sighs> oh, what? No shots, nothing. It's all Del Ren. I sent you Say what? Steve. one. One day know. you will build that. One day. <laughs> I just um, think get the um, conversion for the axial DSX twenty four axles somehow. There's nothing wrong with the low C, but there's no upgrades. You know, there's no overdrive, underdrive. Ah, uh, that's true. So, and the, they're kind of chunky. But then again, it adds that challenge, which I like. It's too easy. It's not as much fun. Right. I mean, it's still fun. Don't get me wrong. It's all fun, but you know what I mean. You guys are getting out what I'm putting down. Dude, nobody knows. You've been in the game for a minute. Here's another one. That's just the chassis. That one has, it's linked and leafed. Helps with axle wrap. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. I'll score that shit on COVID. 
I scooped up a bunch of these things for cheap. <laughs> There's the old go-to servo too, the MG90. That was like way before. Um, what's that one everybody runs now? Uh, Emacs, right? Oh yeah. Is that everybody runs? Yeah, that that's like the old version of the Emacs. You get them like ten of them for like ten bucks. Damn. <laughs> Those are the like, days, right? Oh man, man that shit's funny. But yeah, man. <laughs> back to this. Like, that's literally the first chassis micro crawler I got with the very first. Check that second hard body Toyota I ever built. That's <clears> too <throat> big. Yeah. Well, that sounds that sounds like break. pretty. I mean, pretty chill weekend. Everybody else had. A lot of yeah, there's some cons and stuff. Yeah, um, some guys we know did really. Well. Well, we had the, the uh, uh, fairway crawl you, happening in make it uh, happen? Jersey. Right, everybody uh, wants some leaper, dude. dude. Dude, it's so like crazy, bro. I don't know why no one's done that. Everyone wants all this crazy flex and big ass tires, and I don't know. Let's go scale. Sign me up. Yeah. I'll have to get mine built then. Who, who was that? You know what? I got an idea. Shoot it. Well, I'm not gonna say it. I'm oh, not gonna okay. say it on here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want someone to coming like, back like, message message and be like, "Oh, yo, so and so said you guys were gonna make a leaf chassis." Blah blah blah. All oh, right. I guess who's whoever's watching, who's down for a leaf chassis? Just shout it out. But so coming <laughs> Gee, back you know. to the uh, fairway crawl <laughs> that was hosted over. Over there in Jersey, uh, 110 and 124th classes. <laughs> J-Teams was the one that put together the uh, micro courses. So shout out to J-Teams and his crew out there. Well, we have a few of the homies that tune into Micro Mondays who actually went over there and, you know, got to drive the courses. And a couple of them <laughs> even got lucky enough to podium. So shout out to you guys for watching. and. Uh, that event looked pretty sick. It was at a um, mini golf course. And, man, the terrain, it looked a little slick on some parts, but for the most part, there was a lot of obstacles. They got some rain during that thing. Some rain, too? No way. Yeah. That's what uh, – wasn't Spaz on that, dude, or was it fucking Brando? Oh, yeah, I think it was Spaz. Uh, shout out Spaz. He was out there. I fine think, line crawlers, J teams. Didn't fi shout Fine line say that the um, trio tires did good in the wet? Was that him? Somebody said they don't do good in the wet. Or was it the I saw line line opposite? Oh, I think yeah. I read that wrong. And then uh, we had the Southern Micro Championship yeah, down in Tennessee happening this weekend last weekend too and i heard that was insane mark i gotta send you the pictures of that terrain out there but literally infinite infinite lines out there it's literally rocks everywhere and the courses look super tough and the, some of the tough some of the best drivers went out there and dude the homie uh, marcus w if you guys follow him on facebook Pretty much laid the entire class <laughs> one, th one, two, and three out there. So great driving, buddy. That was another cool one. And then if you guys were over here in uh, SoCal, <laughs> what? Uh, Someone said it was like a whitewater rafting town. <laughs> oh. oh no, it was in a. Oh, I read that wrong. It was in a whitewater rafting town. Never mind. I thought he was talking about. How much rain? Oh, yeah. HBC. Shout out to Johnny. He was over there. He actually helped part, uh, help with the, you know, oh. judging as well as uh, check, tech check-ins and stuff like that. So, must have been oh, fun over tech? there. Yeah. I know. You did tech, too. That's cool. Checking it all. Okay. Uh, making sure everyone's good to go. And down here in SoCal, um, wasn't much of a comp, but Little Guy Racing Parts, they had their meetup 
the sunset sesh guys over there in Simi Valley area. And from what I saw, I wasn't able to make it last minute. I was trying my best, but uh, ended up just kind of staying around town. But from what I saw, it was a really big turnout. And if you guys were lucky enough to go over there, the terrain is super fun too. It's a scale terrain, a bunch of hard lines, and great for the one. 110s, trail trucks, you name it. But overall, you had the chance to check out the new stuff in person. Uh, might as well hop into the Little Guy Racing, too. They had a new release this past week, Mark. People are waiting for metal housings, metal Super 8 housings. And, uh, you know, we got that delivered, but we got a special version of those housings. They're actually a full brass axle housing housing super eights i think they yep. weighed uh, uh chunky i don't know what the weight was but 60 grams something crazy full br brass who got a set guys and uh you guys I put think it on and giggles, i might try that one time <laughs> full brass then, axle yeah and then just drive it and then sell it the next day oh man or who knows? Maybe I'll love it. Who fucking knows? No, think about those heavy builds, those beastly <laughs> scale builds, overland builds. You could oh, definitely use the. Uh, what you say? AliExpress coming through. Oh. oh. Yep. Over overland. Speaking of overland. Or right. Aussie style, pick your pick. That's sick. Yeah. Um, Did anybody get the full brass? Yeah, I'm wondering who got the full brass. Um, I think they're still available, guys. Now, they don't come as the complete axles. They come as the housing only. So, oh, I believe it comes with maybe a brass diff cover, too. I'm not oh. too sure, guys. Let me know. But you will still need to uh, complete the whole axle by getting the shafts, the worm gears, bearings, and knuckles. But it's a good uh, option if you guys need a little bit more weight down low, get you planted. And another new uh, release last week from Little Guy was the white anodized Cyclone beadlocks. Mark, white, oh, white I like wheels. wheels. I like this cycle. I like white wheels. I think that's cool. It's like yeah. a race car. Yeah. So like I like that too for sure. Style. Yeah. Well. Uh, let us know if you got the uh, good brass housings or the white uh, Cyclone beadlocks. Yeah, that's a good point. You could buy the housing and swap the guts. If you don't like it, swap it back. Yeah, right. <laughs> There's oh, somebody man. out there. I guarantee you, you, you buy the brass ones, you have a buyer when you're done with them. Yeah. Guarantee it. You buy any super eight axle and yeah. almost almost well, buyer sure. waiting. Yeah. For sure. And I missed out, dude. And if you guys Mark, if if you were lucky enough to that. see they threw up the uh uh th the pre uh sorry, the printed housings up on the site as well. So, so they don't I have think the they're axles, right? Yeah. Yeah, just the housing. So they were like only ten dollars for the printed ones but uh they sold out of the fronts already of course so, <laughs> of course right so i think there's some That's mirrors crazy. left guys but if you happen to have a metal axle on the front and you want a little bit more weight bias go grab a printed housing for the rear get yourself a little bit better uh weight bias the full mullet <laughs> yeah right full mullet <laughs> Dude, I think the mullets are coming soon, man. We'll have to see and wait. But speaking of what's out now, Mark, yep. Axial, new release. Okay, I was waiting until we got to that one because at first my reaction was I'm underwhelmed because it's a power wagon. And then when you start diving into it, you're like, okay, four-door, hard body, modular. You can take the bed off. So you don't have to run the bed. You don't have to run a four-door cab. You can just use the bed for something. Um, 
a new Spectrum 2-in-1 system, which I believe was dropped at some point for something else. Um, the own, my Okay, oil shocks. I'm going the, on the good stuff. Oil shocks, they teamed up with ProLine finally like they used to. That's Way crazy. back in the SCX-10 one days, right? You could get a an SCX-10 with um, flat irons. So that's cool to see. It's kind of retro and back to ProLine, which, okay, so you don't have to upgrade tires, uh, the shocks anymore. Um, that two-in-one should be pretty damn good for what it is. It runs off a of Spectrum. So anybody with a Spectrum, like DX whatever you're gonna you can use your current radio um what else oh all the scale pack for the money you're getting a lot on that truck yeah right out of the box and it's only okay this is my letdown they still put 030 why you see see what everybody does to them why put a 030 still and the <laughs> shitty servo that's yeah. not a great. But other than that, they killed that to me because they did do a lot of things that you would do right out of the gate. Better shocks and tires and an ESC combo. Right. It's not a brushless system, but still. Yeah. The trailer. So, How about that trailer, yo? Dude, super sick. And definitely what you said, right? So we have the Bronco here. It was the hard body that was offered. Now they're still continuing with the hard bodies, guys. So we're gonna get that four door power wagon body. It looked Lexan to me. I thought from the pictures, but so at first, but it's not. And you know, the other good... thing I was gonna say, another option from the Gladiator chassis and wheelbase. Yeah, so that's cool. So a lot of people, you know, another Jeep, another Jeep, another Jeep. But if you guys haven't got the uh, Gladiator wheelbase yet, and you guys like it. You know, it's going to come with lights already, like Mark said. What I thought was cool, Mark, is that the uh, fenders, well, the light, fender wells, the lights. they're removable. So yeah, instantly, I knew, there was no need... I knew there was something else I saw in Scale Builders Guild. Yeah, there's no need to uh, modify or chop the body if you want a little bit more tire clearance, as well as the bed itself is a two-piece system. So you can actually run that power wagon cab only. So that's going to open up. The tailgate the, actually drops down, but it's not a full bed. So it's kind of, I mean, that's cool. Yeah. You could that's, take it off and paint it a different color or something cool. I'm not sure if it's going to have a smooth crawl or not. It should. But I do know that that new Spectrum 2-in-1 is also coming with a Two channel radio now instead of a three channel radio. Right, but like I said, you can connect it to your DX, rugged, whatever you run, oh. Spectrum, and you're good to go. Hopefully, right? Yeah. No, you can for sure. Oh, that'd be sick. Yeah. And oil shocks, Mark. That's what I said, man. Oh. Sweet. <laughs> and they I think it's not, one. That was, that was like a website thing. Thing, right, the discontinued thing, probably to it get actually some attention. It, and it came, everything came back online. Yeah, unless you know, sometimes when we, we don't know. That. Yeah, that's true too. Right, you never know. Last uh, of the last stock tires are what fifty six, right? They're like fifty eight, fifty seven. Oh, aren't they the TS? Cells, right? No, yeah. No, PSLs, yeah. That's what those yeah. are. Yeah. That's cool. So now they come with foams too, right? It's pretty much yeah. it's you got, the same you exact got, thing that you buy. It's literally right off the ProLine uh, shelf. You know, it's. I love it. I think that they, I've been saying that for a long time. The only thing that they haven't done that I really, really, really as a fan want to see is the fucking um, poncho. The Toyota cab with the flares and the tube bed. Like, come on. Oh, yeah. I'm so, sure now that... That's so classic axial. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? I'm 
stoked that it's hard body so i'm expecting the next releases they're just going to continue on with hard body right. options right so definitely probably right. see a honcho coming soon at least that's what i'm hoping for Dude, how about they do the honcho v3 because that would be the, another version but with a updated tacoma cab or go more old school But still have the two nope. bed. Jeez. Sign me up for whatever's coming out. I don't know. Oh, that was like the first crawler I had was the SCX 10, like in 110. And I got the Honcho because it's just like my fucking Tacoma. You had options for the grill in case you had the 2001 version with the weird old swoopy swoop instead of the straight. <laughs> yeah. That was that's what I want next, so I wanna see. But yeah, I'm I'm kinda I might actually buy one. I'm Unless, definitely gonna kinda, buy one. I'm actually, definitely gonna buy a trailer. That. Keep in mind Mark, the trailer is badass. It comes with its own light setup too, so you can Dude. hitch it to the receiver or whatever. No, that, that trailer is legit cool. Like it has pull out ramps that are stored underneath. The like you said, the lights, you can add stuff to it. Yeah. You can change the tires if you want. Remember all those the only shitty thing, tires that we have sitting around? Put those on it. They look cool. They don't work. Yeah. I like it a lot. I think, I'm not sure how it's going to be, though, but they. I heard that, you know, it fits best with stock uh, with axles. So I'm not sure about, you know, the guys that have their setups a little bit wider, say, maybe with trio oh, portals the, or little guy yeah, racing yeah. Super 8s. And then even more wider with like some hex adapters. I'm not sure if it's going to fit. So <laughs> double check the dimensions of uh, your uh, track width, guys. It, it was stock. I know that. You could yeah. do something though about that. Just 3D, have somebody 3D print like a little tire block. Oh, that's true too. An extender. And then, like, and then, <laughs> and then scrap it down. Yeah. I'm excited. I mean, if you're going to run a see... trailer, it's all about scale at that point anyway. It's not like you're. You go rock crawling with the thing yeah. out of the show and you're parking your rigs and showing shit off. And if you guys are buying a power wagon and trailer, let us know if you guys are going to buy the power wagon or the trailer or both. And you guys are going to grab the green or the orange. Now, I'm sure you guys are going to probably paint it right away, but <laughs> if you had to, which one would you pick? Everybody's already here like, yep, buying both. We all need these haulers, you know, like something to haul our, our buggy trucks or something sick. Just adds to the to the cool realism of taking your crawlers out. <laughs> yeah, you knew when they put double drop and you, they showed you a trailer, it, was, it had to be a Gladiator chassis to be some sort of tow rig. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they were going to drop. Some people were saying weird shit like it was going to be a micro rig, blah blah blah. I'm like, for a tow truck? No, come on now. It's gonna be like a suburban, or I didn't expect a power wagon, but that's cool. Um, what else do they do, big truck wise? It's not much actually. Now I'm thinking about it. No. And they already did the gladiator. Unless they did gladiator hard body, but that'd be kind of redundant. <laughs> They're definitely in. Expecting them to do like the honcho or the base camp or something like that, dude. Base camp builder's kit, right? And see a 24 that. version, yeah. No tires, no rims, or no Unimog. Or the tiny Unim truck set. Yeah, the Unimog. Unimog would be a cool ass tow truck, yeah. And maybe they might pair uh collab again with Proline, so maybe you know, a Proline body or mm -hmm. something, yeah. Uh, Let's hop in over to the pro line. They actually released a bunch of sneak peeks again. and stuff coming up again. Yeah. I feel like they're kind of like they were listening to when pro line or when Axial was going to do their shit or vice versa. Who knows? They were like, there's <laughs> something going on there with Horizon Hobby. Dude. Yeah, I know. I think it's been a, a rough little time, a little time of the year for dealing with shipping and getting orders and stuff like that especially if stuff's coming from overseas yeah. 
Yeah, the effects of COVID are still very prevalent in shipping yeah. and manufacturing. So drop dates probably getting pushed back here and there, and you know releases are kind of getting a little rescheduled. But Proline still teasing guys that their 1.0 Maxxis Trepidor tires are coming, and you can now pre-order them officially as well as they are now offering the long travel for the long travel guys 50 millimeter big bore shocks mini big bores those are pre-orders still too right pre-orders still too they're yeah. aimed for uh, guys who have say an uh, xc1 or the ax24 uh chassis and mark do you need some long travels my friend uh yeah i think a 50 millimeter pro line shock is in the future because a you can tune them and limit them if you need to and it's probably not that much travel like if they're like the other ones that were what 34 millimeter 32 right right sounds right that yeah is- so you could do it i got some rigs with big tires now too I know. Like I think big, everybody's you know? souping it up little by little now. So many big tires. I got this big ass behemoth right here. <laughs> no. I've got the, you know what I mean? Like that could use some shocks like that. Just like freaking big flexi jeeps and off roaders, you know, lifted ones. That would be pretty insane, Claude Buster style. I think that would be perfect on that truck some limited 50 millimeter shocks let them like right. uh, 44 45 something like that nice droop out of them and i think i'm not sure but uh proline is looking to make some big bores for the trx 4m i think so i heard Somebody that too yeah saw Somebody a defender with uh, some big bores on them so that is it's cool. I mean, those shocks, they work pretty good. You know, they still leak, not going to lie. But for the bigger reservoir, they are definitely uh, noticeably smoother, especially for the SCX24s. Definitely dig it. Yeah. It's been a minute since we talked about those. What did you put in there? Like 5,000 weight diff <laughs> fluid or something crazy? Yeah, you can get like, like some high weight like that, like some 5K. Or if you have like regular, uh, you know, shock oil. I actually found that 80 weight <laughs> seems to work pretty decent and super smooth. Like you can definitely tell that, you know, on bouncing on hills and stuff, it's just smooth. So definitely dope. Let's see. Oh, okay. I got one right here. Oh, shoot. RC supremacy in the house. Mark. I just, just saw everybody saying, yo, look at the chat, guys. Lexan Hilux giveaway, guys. Uh-huh. On tonight. All right. He said something last <laughs> week, and I don't think anybody caught it but me. Let me know yo, in the chat if you guys want on. a Lexan giveaway. Yeah, I'm going to bring him on. Yo, Brad, it's Brad, right? I'm not tripping. Before we get Brad on, I wanted to uh, finish this up these little topics real quick um and jora mark they're like okay axial's making a trailer (laughs) well we got our trailer for the trx 4m right with uh pelican cases too guys comes with the hitch tow hitch and and everything oh that was one thing that that proline trailer did or the axial trailer did too they have a hitch that you can mount universally to all their stock chassis. Yeah, that's pretty bad- badass. Yeah. I knew there was something else about that. That was a good drop. They did good. I'm not sure if it comes with two hitches, like a gooseneck one and a regular one for, I, you know, different. I think it was ride height adjustable. Something like that, right? Oh, man, that sounds sick. Yo, yo, yo but, um, but fine line. Lexan from RC Supremacy, that's like, that's like where it's at. Yeah. Yeah, he brings his shit. You know that that's gonna be cool. Stay tuned, 
and some guys are about to bring them on right now. Last couple of headlines. We forgot to uh, share last week, but didn't want to forget this week, Mark. Bro, so we Shrink it or... RC is finally shrinking down into the micro scale. If you guys don't know who Shrink RC is, Yo. Shrink RC has been making the soup, uh, the sickest hard body body mounts for your favorite 110 scale chassis platform. Yep. Almost uh, yep. all of them now. Yep. Axial, I have like three element. trucks running those. Yeah. yeah. Almost everybody who drive, has a hard drive. body is running a shrink RC yeah. mount of some sort. I mean, it's cool as fuck, too. Yeah. He does cool hard body accessories, guys. So now he's taking his skills down to the TRX4M, the K10 Chevy version. And he has a scale interior. He's got a bench seat with dash and steering wheel. And now he has a new product, a uh, toolbox for the back of the bed. And Shrink RC is definitely, he's probably going get, to get hooked into the micro life, guys. So make sure we send some support. If you guys have a K10 and want to deck your stuff out, yeah. check him out. Hopefully he does the same thing um, he did with the 110 stuff where he offers different links for bed lengthening bobbing etc or just making cab cab backs um i guess it'd be the opposite then since it's a k oh no it's a k10 never mind yeah it'd be the same for, same concept probably yeah. why i jumped on that one because he's already got a bunch of uh, 110 That's stuff true, yeah <laughs> but hey if we can have it for the the I 118 i want to summer oh 17 inch fucking wheelbase 24 scale. Dude, that's I want to see you, man. Do no, something like, sick with that. Would that be, it'd be crazy. It'd be like, let's see, that one's fucking seven. It'd probably be like eight or nine inch wheelbase to do a suburban proper in 18 scale. Yeah. Right? Dude, I've seen them in person. They're the 110s are long. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That's on my. My bucket list of RC builds is a is doing the suburban, like the full build, like from scratch. I want to do that so bad. Oh, if anybody wants to commission that, let me know. Then I could do it and get paid and not do it for myself. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Last no, thing I'd want to keep. I, 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 I would keep that if I had to build one of those. I'd keep one. Fuck that. Oh, I know you. You probably buy out the body. Buy out the build. Yeah, I mean, never mind. Commission's gone. All right, there was something else. And yeah, it was... the last one right here. Yeah, yeah. In my hand. Yep, guys. I mean, there's two more. <laughs> this is the Height RC Micro High Low chassis. And uh, shout out to the homies, Small Time Crawler and Collie Man for. You know, they actually both sent me a set of rails. Was was a little unexpected from small time, but much appreciated, bro. And Collie Man, he was actually curious to see how it would look with some links. So I had a little bit of time to get some crazy links made for them. Damn. Dude. It's a crazy breakover. We have a little bit. This wasn't the final version, Mark, but pretty much close. What I actually changed it to is there's a standard deadbolt front end okay. and a standard huh? uh, gladiator rear end. But now really? I uh, extended the front end uh, uh, halfway in between C10 and deadbolt front. Okay. And then I uh, took off a little bit from the gladiator to still keep that same wheelbase. So there's about 145 millimeters. Mm. Okay. And I think they fit. I think this it fits this rails. Obviously, you can probably go longer. I probably would, wouldn't, though. I think the Gladiator rear end is as far as you can go. And up front, you can probably go a little longer if you want to. But I think having the skid or the skid plate area 
as far forward as you can will definitely help with the weight bias and then you get the double bend clearance that's insane haven't uh, mounted it up yet but height rc pretty much brought us a cool little chassis as you can see there's a lot of link adjustments for the uppers a lot of uh shock, shock tower adjustments basically a scale down a little high low here's a do you have a body that'll fit that right now at least yeah, sit I on can, it and see kind of give us like a reference point i can grab probably this uh killer chassis right here see what it, it looks like Something like yeah. that, maybe. All right. So, I mean, the breakover, you can already tell, you can chop that body way up there. And uh, definitely is super sick. It fits nice. I don't like doing that, though. So you like don't like the angle? Like, I like all the, the, the clearance, but not cutting the body. Uh, I don't know. So here's that the, takes away the... Takes away from the scale of me. I know what you mean, but when it comes to stuff like this, yeah, I get all. I mean, you're going 100 percent performance. Wait, is Gino still here? Fucking comp guys, you're going fucking <laughs> comp guy style. Comp life, man. man. Do that, but if you're just all driving cab only, fuck that. Perfect. Yeah, uh, you? Dino over here rock the cab oh i can't do oh, it with yeah. the uh the outboard links but you get what i mean yeah okay that's or i can even just combo with it with the uh where is that uh, the tiny <laughs> drug oh, yeah i forgot <laughs> you were in on that conversation too <laughs> <laughs> did yeah. you catch any of that speed in that group chat yeah you guys okay. are funny let's, let's go ahead and uh Get RC supremacy on, guys. I know oh, you yeah. guys been waiting, and he so wants to get back. Is Tommy still here? Uh, I don't know if he's on. Yeah, he's still here. Right. I got right. him live. In my cool. About to send them it's the a invite. It's a comp guy thing. <laughs> if you need to spin the wheel, uh, I got one right it. here. Supremacy like ready to go. Board, <laughs> Boy, there he is. Oh, there he is. Man, yeah, it's been a, it's been a long wow. time coming. Right? Yeah. Before we start, man, I want to give big props to you fellas, man. Not only do you have the micro crawl scene on your backs, but the consistency is so admirable, guys. It's so admirable, man. It really is. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, you uh yeah, you guys are definitely uh you guys have me uh tuned in every weekend, um every Monday, uh, you know, until uh, the wee hours on my side of town. And it's just big love, man. It really is. Try to last week in the chat, just you know, try to shoot something off to your guys' uh, uh fans, followers, and uh yeah, man, I'm uh, pumped to uh do a little something, dude. So <clears throat> Have a little uh, Lexan body that we uh, brought to market here probably about eight months ago. Um, it's a little RN80. It's got like a, a little effect on it. But a lot of the crawler guys <clears throat> have been uh, chopping it up and, uh, and of course, uh, borne out some wheel well and uh, doing some uh, some cool things with them, man. So I just wanted to give one back, see if uh, one of your... Uh, one of your guys just uh, can make some uh, work with it, oh, man. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, it comes with a little decal sheet. Has some maskings for the windows, and uh, if you utilize some of the uh, some of the actual uh, decals for the lights. And uh, yeah, man, for uh, just for a reference too, I'll go ahead and put this on <clears throat> one of the bodies that you guys are accustomed to seeing, which is the hard oh, body, yeah. Adam Sam. Perfect comparison. So, yeah, if you guys oh, haven't seen that truck, come on now. The wheel wells are almost identical, um, too. But, uh, but yeah, wheelbase is on point for you guys. The, nice. you, know, you guys can mess around with links and uh, and uh, get that thing where it needs to be. You guys are all pros. And uh, yeah, man, however you see fit, let's uh, give this thing away. Uh, let's show some love back into the uh, to the chat and of course uh, the viewers, man, the guys that hold you down. Well, that. Super dope. Yeah. And before we get into a little giveaway for the community, we just want to say, yo, big shout out to you, RC yeah. Supremacy. If you guys aren't uh, familiar with RC Supremacy, definitely go to give them a follow. The Micro Drift King. 
That's what that's what I talk yeah. about, man. Try. For those of you guys that don't know, we're dedicated on the little micro drifters, man. We have uh, a ton of these things in stock and uh, are consistently importing them. But uh, yeah, we're just having fun, man. We're just a, a, a hobbyist. And, uh, you know, we um, originally just wanted to make it available for those that, uh, that you know, were getting into the scene and it was hard to do. Um, we, uh, we were just in the same position, had a, a difficult time getting the small things like ball cups and uh you know hardware so we uh, took it upon ourselves a couple years ago just to uh yeah get in uh you know the more popular brands and try and uh yeah keep it in regularly three to five days to all the the micro drifters and uh yeah the scene's definitely starting to uh to bud you know a lot of the electronics as you guys have seen in the micro crawl stuff have um some right. leaps and bounds uh since their inception and uh yeah dude it's been a lot of fun it, it definitely has been a lot of fun but uh i know i've i've hit up steve multiple times i uh i know uh my man brandon uh jec crew they uh they, you know i've i've expressed wanting to do a lot more micro stuff micro crawl just build a a nice comp rig or something uh you know more with the times instead of this this is literally just a stock scx 24 that we just scaled out and uh and had some fun with a while ago this is going back three years ago remember now, that so. into your video yeah so it, it was fun though, but <clears throat> yeah it uh definitely uh definitely is is a thing of the past uh in regards to uh, you know that body and what you guys are doing now so it uh yeah it's too cool but figure out just hop in here real quick man see if uh, you want to give one of these little uh helixes away and uh, go from there <clears throat> you know yeah we'd love to do you want us to do like a spin the wheel yeah on our side Absolutely. Okay. If you guys want to spin a wheel, just anyone in the, uh, I guess just drop their, their names in the, in the chat and, uh, yeah, dude, I'll ship it out. If uh, they want, they can shoot me a DM and I will definitely, definitely get this out tomorrow, tomorrow. That's so dope. I'm definitely putting the names in the wheel guys right now. So if you're lucky enough to be watching at Yo. this moment, please yeah. do not leave. That way you guys can claim Man, your, but, Lexan hey, Brad. Hilux from RC Supremacy. Brad, will you go, go back to where you were? Yeah. I saw a, a cool ass paint job. Yeah. On your bench. Yeah. Yeah. Where's that? And oh, right here? This no, is a hard no, body. That this one's is... cool, but that's not the one I spied. This guy Maybe right here? Left. I think it was to your left. This, this guy. Yeah, that. What's that? This That's is a cool. 10 scale little S chassis. I just finished this up on the website. Um, I'm sorry, on the YouTube channel, probably a month or so ago, but all paint, no decal here. This is all done from within. Uh, styrene roll cage on there. We, you know, we like to mess around with some styrene. Added a, a bunch of cool little features to it. It was inspired by a YouTuber. I was trying to get some clout. I'm not going to front a professional raw dogger uh, merch line. <laughs> um, this dude, Jadeon, has got some, a, a hell of a following. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I definitely. Cool uh, the fucking sunroof, too. A moonroof? A little sunroof. If I cut oh, out the back, no. Max, and if you can see some cotton cuts right there yeah, on the inside yeah. uh, on the back window. Um, did something similar here. Let me pull this one out. This is one of my favorite bodies for sure. But, um, but yeah, we just mess around with the airbrush, have a good time doing it, try to put out some informative stuff on YouTube. And, of course, uh, yeah, man, just, uh, just kind of bring my vision out, uh, you know, do this stuff. Can't be like you guys know. You can't be afraid to screw some shit up, you know? Right. Right, you, you're never gonna grow if you're not afraid to fail. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Did another little comp cut, oh, little yeah. rising sun in the back, That's sick, dude. It, Fuck yeah, and stuff on the back trunk. Fuck another yeah. paint job, full paint work. This thing has seen a couple seasons already, dude, so she's definitely God, worn so out. But that thing. but yeah, we uh, dick. thanks, bros. Well, thank you. You, you do um, offer like masking material, right on on your I, website. I. I used to offer on the site for order, but unfortunately with how busy we've been with the shop, it's just hard to uh, keep up with it. Um, it's oh, like okay. made to order. So, But if, if if someone were to hit me up in the DMs and had given us a few days, we'll definitely, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll show love and get something out if they want a specific masking that we already have or um, a specific style, oh, uh, you know, that they're looking for. That's fairly simple. We can definitely knock some stuff out for you guys. I always, I, I'm always a, a proponent 
proponent in, in trying to promote, you know, guys messing around with the airbrush or uh, doing any type of paintwork themselves just because, you know, if I hadn't done so myself, I definitely wouldn't have learned as much. So, um, yeah, man, just uh, definitely if anybody needs anything, uh, especially if they're uh, <clears throat> if they're uh, part of the, the Micro Monday fam, I'll definitely do something up for them. That's, That's cool. cool. Hell yeah. Hey, for the Micro Monday guys who are geeking out on these tiny trucks, these drifters, I should say, what would you re recommend or what would you be your first recommendation to somebody who wants to get into the micro drifters? What would we be looking for? And the, the, the scene in all of the equipment now, all the chassis have come so far. All the electronics are... Um, they're all pretty much, um, let me grab my case real quick. They're all pretty much censored with a ton of different, uh, you know, options now. But, yeah, I mean, you pick your poison, Atomic, uh, of course, XRX, Drift Art. A lot of these companies out the box are uh, are very, very solid little kits. But, yeah, there's, uh, there's a little something for everybody. You got some body roll stuff, McPherson-style struts. Um, of course, the Drift Art has a little body roll system in the, uh, in the rear for purchase if uh if wanted um we dropped some hardware too just to you know but he's enjoys a little bling here and there so we dropped a little ti hardware m2 stuff um starting to make its way into the the micro uh, crawl stuff with sick yo. with a little, oh, yeah. little bottom chassis um but uh yeah man they definitely you can you can drop yourself a pretty penny uh similarly to your your micro uh crawl stuff and oh, yeah. your 10 scale stuff man it's uh definitely pretty Pretty, uh, pretty cool to see it all kind of come around at this scale too. You know, it's very, it's delicate. It's definitely the tolerances are are not, you know, at the the larger, you know, scale yet. But uh, regardless, if you're light on your fingers and can enjoy, uh, you know, a headache here and there, and not mind throwing some <laughs> curse words uh, a few a few times oh. within the hour, um, you you're definitely be able to have a good time. <laughs> you know, exactly exactly so but uh yeah man it, uh, it, it, in in this specific brand right here um bm racing they just dropped a almost ready to run which is uh probably the closest thing aside from like a zero uh which is going to come out the box built already with all of your electronics wow you just need to pair your transmitter and your receiver but um this one has a little bit more of the upgrades on it but this is the exact kit minus the actual like bottom black dual anodized plate but uh yeah they um exactly. they're definitely looking looking cool they got like an xrx which is more of like a budget friendly out the box comes with a little bit more plastic and does have all of your electronics as well comes with the receiver which is a cool option funnels guys in and then uh yeah man just break it open from there <laughs> damn dude then, dude what's like the wheelbase on those for uh say like uh, model so, kit, uh, like 124 uh, scale. Like, yeah, so a lot of them, um, if you can tell right here, you have a little bit of a uh, a rail style sliding chassis, whereas all of them now, most uh, most of your kits out of the box are all adjustable wheelbase. They uh, stretch from a 120, which is the largest. Uh, having came across too many 24 scales that are that exceed that, especially in like okay. the hard body you know model for like the jdm or you know american right. muscle and then they um <clears throat> and then they go as short as 90 to 90 mil which you're able to fit your to show uh mini z body so if you're familiar with any of the mini z they're oh, range yeah. from like 90 to like 94 millimeter so uh yeah one chassis you can run a 24 scale or a, a, a 28 scale so hey get the Damn, best of both cool. worlds well, yeah it's just pretty uh it's pretty cool and a, a lot of the kits now um are it's a standard on it so you're going to be able to get that 90 to 120 easily a couple of them like the xrx has a two-step adjustment in the rear on the trans so um, not only does it stretch to 120 but you can also get a little bit more finer wheelbase adjustment via the uh the step adjust right here you can move the rear gear housing uh back and Man. forth so so a better option and of course shimming the the lower arms you can uh, put the wheel in the wheel well a little bit more flush and uh yeah it's just all about how much you want to tinker man that is i love it <laughs> thanks bro thanks i got a, I got a drz2 uh -huh. i've never built and yeah. now and a um uh 
a BMW 124 scale M30. Ooh, ooh we got to get that yeah. thing done, my man. Got to get yeah, that thing no. done. I if know. you need anything, Don't just uh, let me know, man. I, I got you. This is the same chassis that you're talking. This is the LE right here. So it comes with a little bit more. It's a DRZ. This is actually one of my favorite driving kits in the smaller wheelbase. So, I mean, with uh, with anything, a, a larger wheelbase, a lot more stable, a lot more um, predictable. But this thing at 90 millimeters, which is, um, you know, the smallest they get, it drives like a beast, man. It really okay. does with very little effort, um, you know, on the back end. So definitely. You, you, and of course, you have a gyro on your stuff. Yep. Or there's you, gyro are you, are you, on it. it oh. They're very, they're very hard to, especially at this uh, size. Here's a gyro right here. Um, that, uh, you know, the the size of them um in particular to uh the wheelbases too it's uh, they they're a little twitchy they're not um it's not a it, it, it by no means doesn't drive um at all you can definitely do it with a little finessing but a gyro just makes the experience so much better um okay and they they definitely do have uh a lot, uh, a lot more predictable slides with it, but yeah, I mean, they're uh, they're coming far away. Got a bunch of aluminum wheels that you can uh, you can pair with them. Got a little BBS right here, with the bronze and uh, gunmetal, and a ton of different tire compounds, similarly to how you guys are are doing with your treads and uh, you know your compounds in the micro stuff. Um, definitely, uh, you know, different softer, harder compounds for the micro uh, drift stuff, which is pretty cool. Can cater to your surface. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Learning so, so much in a short amount of time right now. It's awesome. Yeah, fun. I run a, a a this is an epoxy on top of here, so um, it's a little dirty right now. But once it's cleaned up, I throw a little like a a couple different coatings but i favor a ceramic coating that you find like in your auto parts store um it doesn't have any uh, stench to it and it slides like immaculately almost like you're on okay. ice so uh this thing uh yeah definitely definitely pretty enjoyable pretty but enjoyable. when to scale that dude. dude and that's how and that's you've been building on, on youtube right, YouTube, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, yeah, uh, we, uh, we uh, took a while, 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 too long. Too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah, a workout. Work so. One of these Mondays, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll put some session we'll on it. On it. Definitely, definitely get the lights, get on, the as lights well. on as well. Yeah, we're yeah. definitely going to do the RC Supremacy Takeover. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> oh, yeah. Whenever, whenever time is right. Love. But Love. I think Love. we are ready to do this. Let it run. See who's the lucky whoever wins. guys. And dude, definitely end. thank you for shining the light for us for oh. the micro drift oh. world. We definitely want to dive deeper into that stuff. And a lot of people Lord. already got their eyes tuned in. So again, that, appreciate that you, brother, for, too, for hopping on as well. Dude, no, you know, thank, thank you, bro. You, thank bro. you. Thank you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, guys. So make sure you guys are giving a follow to RC Supremacy, great homie of the micro community. And if drifting is something that you want to get into, feel free to send him a DM because he is dove oh, no. down oh, the no. rabbit hole way deep over there. So uh -huh. Uh -huh. You already know what's good. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, while we're waiting for, for the spin, yo. Remember these? Remember uh -oh. these? Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the is, is that, that the buggy, the buggy or the thing? Uh, uh, it's, uh, the, it's rally. the rally. Rally. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. With, the, uh, With the uh, Exotech. Exotech. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, carbon uh, fiber, fiber upgrade. Upgrades. Damn Exotech. Bro, that's yeah. So Bro, this thing is old school, dude. School, dude. It's got like a 10.5k price of the system. The fucking hall of ass is crazy. It's probably too fast for scale, right? This thing goes like 30, dude. Nuts, bro. It's brushless? brushless? Yeah. Damn, that thing's fast as That's it. I'm clicking the wheel. No, guys. If you find... I hear Check that eBay. I hear that. Shout out the shop. Shout out the shop. Amy, ma'am. Amy, ma'am. Yeah, well, I just yeah, recently, I just recently just started, started getting the echo. Started getting the echo. Sorry, Sorry about that, guys. We'll get the spin done. I'll get out of here. Yes, sir. All right, guys.
Uh, congrats to whoever wins. Good luck. Let's go. Boom. Right. Right. RC Supremacy Lexan Hilux, guys. You can definitely mod I'm that up to your SCX24. Oh, and what we got, Mark? Shout out. Shout out. Oh, Lacosa. Yeah, Lacosa again. Yeah. Lacosa again. Yeah. Lacosa. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Out. 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 Tracking to tomorrow. tomorrow. On a roll. Congrats, my friend. Congrats. Well, that Congrats. is super dope, bros. Uh, Brad, <laughs> Big love. Yes. Big love. Guys, I'll let you go. This echo I'm sure is not favoring anything. Favoring anything. You, guys you guys have a great night. Great Appreciate night. you letting me on. And uh, yeah, man, anytime yeah, Michael Drift wants to be a thing, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Take over. We need to have you on for a takeover, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys. Have a good night. Yeah, Thanks, have a good again, night. Thanks again, guys. Yeah, Appreciate catch you on the first time, brother. Loco, Loco, shoot me a DM, man. DM, Let's get man. you uh, Let's get locked you, uh, in. Lock Tracking in. sent. Tracking sent. There you go. There you go. There we Take go. Take it easy, boys. Take it easy, boys. Peace out. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That was insane, guys. We still got Echo. Surprise visit. Huh? Echo. 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 I don't think anymore. No, Echo. It's still late, it's on, still my late end. on my end. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we are definitely All right. wrapping All right. it up in a little bit. Um, that was sick, that was though. though. That was super sick, guys. We were we've been meaning to get RC Supremacy on for a while, and it seemed like the time was just right. So happens that you just happen to want to bless the micro micro Mondays community as well. So again, big shout out again to RC Supremacy. Congrats, guys, and if you still want to Lexan Hilux, go over to his website. He's got a whole bunch of stuff on his website. Everything you want to see for whatever he's got in inventory for the micro drifters as well. If you guys want to get started on that, um, dude, that is super cool. Mark, what Yo. is your week's plan, my friend? Okay, okay, everything's gonna be delayed, be delayed by, by about, about a second. A second. Just, Just so, so you, know. you know. That's Cause our, fine. Cause you said that. Just <laughs> <laughs> so so fucking, fucking me up. Me up. Uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm do gonna dick, do dick bug, bug. Finish that finish shit. That shit. Yeah, I can't even yeah, do it. This. this is fucking silly. silly. I can't even hear the echo. I'm good over here. Too much echo. Even for me, dude, you're clear, clear, but uh, it's like it's like a second and a half second delayed, and a half though, delayed though, being like being like a, a tunnel, a tunnel. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> Shit, dude, well, guys, stupid. we probably will just wrap it up then, so that way you guys, you know, don't have to have a headache tonight. But that means maybe Mark will just. Hang out right here, do some sign language while we close it up. But guys, we had a pretty sick show. Whole bunch of new stuff. Um, mini high low by height RC. Go check that chassis out. What would you guys put in there? How would you guys build it? Tiny tires, big tires, brushless, br brushed. And it is the road to pro line guys so next week i'll have a few builds that i'll be probably finishing up painting as you guys can see i got the trx 4m mias ripper right there kind of in a prototype paint phase panel phase so hopefully you guys will see that next <laughs> and again guys we will actually continue the driver spotlight uh little you know spotlight thing that we did last week uh for the next week we'll have a couple guys on because we want to see what, what you guys are up to what are your tips and tricks how do you set up your rigs and you know what kind of terrain you guys like the most and you know just what's good with with the rc community and what else big shout out to little guy racing uh, over there, J teams at the fairway crawl. Little uh, uh, Johnny no, at fix it. Fix it. No. Oh. no, nice try nice though. Nice try though. Damn. 
Oh, if you need a hat, you already know. Just send DM to Mark. I think I got a couple more hats as well myself, but uh, I will definitely be at ProLine with a few stuff. I'm actually expecting a few more new products, guys. Little swag stuff for your RC needs, whatever it needs to be. So stay tuned for that. We're going to have a giveaway soon. Oh, lastly, lastly, if you guys are tuning in, since uh, my buddy, uh, Man 91 uh, Man over here, my boy Ryan, if you're watching, he was gracious enough to send over one of the mini Hilos right here, as well as the buddy Small Time Crawler. So I guess um, Kali Man's our package kind of got lost in mail, so he made another one and sent it. And uh, I guess that one is on its way. So next week, guys, one of you guys will be going away with the mini high-low chassis by height. We'll do a giveaway, too. So something we can just share our appreciation with. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to close it up, guys. Mark, it's been awesome as always, bro. And we will catch everybody oh, next week. Trippy. What? Kind of makes, more, makes sense more sense now. now. My voice. My voice. Whoa, Whoa, my hand. My hand. It, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Anyone hey. ever done, uh, ever done psychedelics? psychedelics? And then this is what. And this is what it's like. It's like. <laughs> Just say. Just say. Let's go. <laughs> All, right. All right, you have fun over there, Mark, and everybody else. Peace out. <laughs>